Perhaps you'd care for a rematch. A rematch? Tomorrow night at 11. You have one night to train. If you lose, I shall force feed you a bowling ball. Whatever it takes. Very well, then. Thank you, Roy. I... Oh, I mean, prepare to have your ass handed to you on a TV platter, mofo. What was that? I said, prepare to die, mofo. My word. My precious catchphrase. What? Mofo. There, you said it again. You stole my motherfucking tagline. For this, you must die. <laughs> Just look at you, rolling around in the alleys like a bunch of pathetic third graders. In case you haven't heard, the New World Order's in town. You geeks, your days are numbered, you know. Well, that's just like your opinion, Mr. Centurion. Oh, really? Just look at your opponent. Oh, boy, no. He worked for you. I knew it. <laughs> he ran in fear. Even the bravest run in the face of the powerful Centurions. Right, Paco. We will trash you and your nerdy arcade dwelling companions, just like Asimov said. Survivor of the fittest from now oh. on, huh? Oh. <laughs> and what is this unfair about a dance off tomorrow? I will be there, and I will be victorious. In that case, I shall have to kill you. Hey, leave him alone. Who are you? I'm gonna kick your asses. After your classes. Right in front of the masses. Leave the kid alone if you know what's good for you. Are you asking me for a challenge? Uh, boss, that is the legendary dancer Dan Darkworth. Prepare to feel the wrath of the Centurions. Kid, what'd I tell you? What? What'd I do? We're gonna be the to dance tournament! Dad, built from a book! <laughs> okay, so something awful awesome has to happen. Huh? I mean, why'd you quit dance gaming? Was it because of Centurions? Centurions? Nah, they're just punks. Not even punks. Always beating up on lesser geeks to make themselves feel better about themselves. I figured. So why'd you quit? Well... The story goes back. Way back before video games were anything like what they were today. Long before the heyday of dance gaming, I was a street dance gamer. Back then, it was pretty much do or die. If you couldn't make it on the street as a dance gamer, you were as good as dead. Me? I ruled the dance floor. I had the moves no one could top. Yep, things were tight. But then came this man, this legend, Bruce McDeuce. And this guy was a madman. I tried to keep up with him, but I was just no match for his gyrations and rotations. Long and hard I studied, in search of the most powerful dance to have ever existed. And finally, it occurred to me that Madman McDeuce had uncovered an ancient secret of terrifying power. The Typhoon of Doom. See, 
The Typhoon of Doom can only be countered by its polar opposite, the Hurricane of Pain. But when I finally became capable of executing that particular move, it did something to me. It corrupted me. And when I finally found out why, it was far too late. You see, the Typhoon of Doom is actually a channel for divine energy. It becomes evil only when it is used by the greedy for their own greedy ends. Now the Hurricane of Pain is the complete opposite. It is evil and corrupts the hearts of the weak, and can only be good when used for the noble purpose of righting a wrong. I had no idea. It all makes sense to me now. So that's why I quit dance gaming. I can't be tempted into using the Hurricane of Pain ever again. Okay, so like, you're just gonna sit around and waste the rest of your life? Why don't you do what you said you were gonna do and use the Hurricane of Pain for good? It's not my responsibility. Well, maybe you feel better about all this if you help me. I have a dance off tomorrow night. No, the Hurricane of Pain is not to be used for bragging rights, nor is the Typhoon of Doom. But my opponent, you see, he uses the Typhoon of Doom to beat up on his opponents. That makes him evil, doesn't it? So if we use the Hurricane of Pain to counter him, it'd be like righting a wrong, wouldn't it? Come on, Dan, you'd feel better if you helped me do this. You're a smart kid, you know that. I'm in. Here's to defeating Roy Phoenix. Roy Phoenix? Yeah, you've heard of him? Hell with that, Roy Phoenix is a friend of mine. No one uses my moves on my friends on my watch. But Dan, he's evil. Enough, I'm warning you now. Except for yourself, the he who uses the Typhoon of Doom for evil is again... Alright, you asked for it. But Dan, wait! Boom. We will kill them all. We'll kill them dead. Whether they dance or not. We'll smite the winner first in all his glory, then go for the loser. We will kill them with a sledgehammer. Then we take out that pathetic asswad, Dan Darkworth. I as him off. Centurion control forever. I changed my mind. I'll train you. Are you serious? We both have a common enemy now. So what do you say? 